On that fateful day, allegations emerged of physical, emotional, and verbal abuse by Doherty County Sheriff's Department deputies. The response or lack thereof by healthcare facilities was equally concerning. To unravel the truth and foster transparency, a Freedom of Information Act request was issued under the Georgia Open Records Act. The request sought access to records from three key establishments, the Aspire Behavioral Health and DD Services, the Phoebe Memorial Hospital, and the Doherty County Sheriff's Department. Each of these institutions had a role to play in the incidents, and each held a piece of the puzzle. At Aspire, the request sought records detailing any violations of patient or human rights, as outlined by their own guidelines. Similarly, at Phoebe Memorial Hospital, records of any breaches in patient or human rights were demanded. Lastly, at the Doherty County Sheriff's Department, documents detailing any violations of human rights were requested. The purpose of this request was not merely to obtain information, but to identify the individuals involved. This included the Doherty County Sheriff's Department deputies present during the incidents, Aspire personnel involved in the response, and Phoebe Behavioral Health and Phoebe Emergency Center staff involved in post-incident care. Moreover, the request sought body camera footage from deputies at healthcare facilities, surveillance footage from healthcare locations that might document relevant incidents, and records of calls and communications concerning patient rights violations. Meet James Michael Epler, the man who dared to seek the truth. Epler, a local journalist and community advocate, was the first to raise questions about the shocking incidents that occurred on March 13, 2024. Concerned by the lack of response from the involved institutions, Epler took it upon himself to issue the Freedom of Information Act request under the Georgia Open Records Act. His aim was to uncover the truth, expose any potential violations of human rights, and ensure that the individuals involved would be held accountable for their actions. Epler's commitment to transparency and accountability did not stop at issuing the request. He tirelessly followed up on the request, ensuring that the institutions involved could not ignore their responsibility to the public. Epler's actions remind us of the power of a single individual in fostering transparency. His courage and determination serve as a shining example for us all highlighting the crucial role each of us can play in holding powerful institutions accountable and promoting a culture of transparency and respect for human rights. The incidents of March 13, 2024, underscore the pressing need for transparency and accountability in law enforcement and healthcare. Without openness, incidents like these may go unnoticed and unaddressed, leading to a breakdown in trust and safety. In essence, the Freedom of Information Act request served two crucial purposes. First, it aimed to shed light on the specific incidents of that day, ensuring that any violations of rights did not go unnoticed. Second, it sought to promote a culture of transparency and accountability within these institutions, emphasizing the importance of ethical conduct and respect for human rights. In summary, the incidents of March 13, 2024, and the subsequent Freedom of Information Act request highlight the critical need for transparency and accountability in law enforcement and healthcare. It's a call to action for all institutions to uphold the highest standards of ethical conduct, respect for human rights, and openness in their operations. It underscores the power of information in promoting accountability and fostering trust within our communities.